Welcome aboard commuters and shout outs for this week goes to Hornby Train Spotting and Farming, Dave Say, Paul 61C70, Fleetwood J, Love Minis, World of Mike Anderson and Horlicks. Mind the gap. So issue 17 is here and uh, another fantastic looking magazine, although it does look fairly similar to last week. So I'm only going to rate it a nine. Um, now the part count is quite low um, with only four parts. We've got 17A, the front chassis frame. Now this is actually going to double the length of the build. Um, we also get 17B chassis frame link and two packs of screws, GM screws and MM screws. Um, the total build time was quite short, around about 21 minutes. Um, there isn't an awful lot to do, um, but it does actually yield a very good result. So I'm going to carry on checking the parts, make sure they're all complete, and then we'll have a little look at the magazine and then we'll crack on with the build. Now I did do a quick weight comparison here. Um, the, the weights are roughly about the same, but obviously the parts we've built already will be heavier because we have added more parts to them. Okay, so we had a little look through the magazine. We did enjoy this poster that does highlight the difficulties that the bus has had in the 20s, competing with the underground, even though that the, the buses could reach um, areas that the underground couldn't reach. This then went on to an article regarding the Tower of London um, and then we are pleased to say that all the pages are complete um, but then there was an interesting article about shower banks and day trips and then it finished up with a rather dark looking poster about the Tower of London um, quite appropriate given that the Tower of London is a rather dark place um, good magazine um, did enjoy it Okay, so the entire build for this week is a four parts uh, build. Uh, section one asks you to take the uh, rear chassis frame, part 16A, that will be the part from the previous week, and it asks you to check the orientation, make sure that the four screw holes um, are lined up correctly, and these are circled. And then it moves on to section two, which asks you to take the part 17A, the front chassis frame. Uh, this is the part that comes with this week. And it asks you to check the correct orientation and identify the four fixing points. And then we move on to section three. Okay, so this section is a very simple assembly. We require four GM screws. Um, first of all, we um, actually put together the part 16A and 17A, which we've uh, checked in the previous part. These should go in nice. There's locating um, like circles and they will kind of lock in. Um, and then what I've done is I've put one screw in just enough so that it grabs. Then I move on to the opposite side. I pop another screw in until it grabs. Then I do the two middle ones. And then I go back to the first one and I do just a little turn. And then back to the next one. And it took me about four or five um, little turns. Um, sort of, I had a few goes and eventually it all came in. But I wanted to keep it level. Um, I was a little bit fearful with the length of the screws um, because these screws are about five millimeters in length. So I was worried if one side was screwed in and the other side was loose, it could potentially warp that frame. There may be no risk of doing it, but let's be safe. Let's be a little bit careful.
Okay, so on to section four. Now, in the original video on Twitch, I did actually do section four before I did section three. This doesn't actually matter, but for the purpose of this video, let's just pretend I've done issue three first. Now, there is a problem with the, um, uh, the instructions on section four. If you look at the exploded view, it tells you to use GM screws. Um, but if you read the actual description, it clearly tells you to fix in place with two MM screws. This is actually a mistake. Um, and what you need to do is use the MM screws. That's Mike Mike. Um, now, I did actually uh, put GM screws in because I was following the exploded diagram. And there was no backup check for me because I collect all of my screws into one big pot um, I actually have quite a few GM screws this is because I'm doing two builds um, now if you if you're using just the screws from this issue alarm bell should start to ring at this stage because you have only got one screw left that being the spare one from the GM screws um, so but what you will find is because the GM screws are five millimeters long and the MM screws that you're supposed to use are only four millimeters long. They won't go in all the way. At the time, I wasn't sure. Maybe I wasn't strong enough. Um, but it turns out I, uh, it, it wasn't my strength. It was the fact that they were too long. Um, so enjoy this, guys. I do try to put the screws in. Uh, eventually, once I figure it all out, I remove the screws and then I pop the correct ones in. And that should complete the build. Okay, so this is the completed build for this week and on page four you see the assembly guides uh, and the finished views. So we do a little bit comparison just to make sure ours looks something like the magazine. We were concerned that this is effectively being held in by four screws. Um, but in actual fact, because of the orientation of it, the way the screws are, it's actually going to be holding quite a lot of weight and I think it will do that successfully. Okay, so next we have a look at what's coming up in issue 18 and I must be honest with you, I'm not too excited about this. Every build does have its good and, and, and bad points. Um, some of you might be excited by this. But this is the first tire and the wheel rim for one of the pairs of rear tires which are assembled in this next issue. Um, as I say, it's not something that particularly excites me, but it's an absolutely critical part of this build, and I fully accept that. Okay, so the scores for this magazine, as we mentioned before, we give it a 9 for the overall feel. Uh, the build time was less than 21 minutes, so that scores a 7. Um, there was that a mistake with the instructions unfortunately on section 4 so that means that we only score a 9 for the instructions uh, now there were three parts however like last week we decided to award three points for a big uh, chassis frame I mean if they're giving us parts this big it would be very unreasonable to expect 10 parts um, so the parts total is five and there were actually no problems with the build in the sense that there were no problem parts. Um, so unfortunately the, the issue only scored 80% which is still a very good issue um, but that, that magazine ranks 14 out of 17 and that drags the total average score down a tiny bit down to 88.59. Okay, so I'd also like to apologise for no pictures in this magazine. Um, I'm going to be honest with you, I did a charity stream at the weekend um, and unfortunately it kind of took up a lot of my, my preparation time. Um, so I wasn't able to bring you any, any pictures, but I hope to bring you extra for next week. Um, but I do obviously have time for the shout outs, which is one of my favourite parts. 
Uh, Hornby train spotting and farming right great mid penny. I love the way you put vid, that's kind of cool, not video. Let's be extra cool, vid. Um, Dave Say says thanks for the shout out last week, much appreciated. Excellent video this week, as always, Penny. Enjoyed it. And hasn't it grown in size, size since last week? More chassis next week. Absolutely agree. It's great. It's just suddenly gone from small to oh my god, this is getting quite big. Just in one issue. In fact, with this issue, it's made it even larger. It's, it's getting gigantic now. Uh, poor 61 C70 writes. How you keep doing this is beyond me, but I watch in awe of your capabilities. I'm inspired. Thank you, Penny. Never stop doing this. Thumbs up. Well, to be honest with you, I don't plan to stop now because I think I've gone too far now um, to just throw it away. And it is obviously with it being my job, uh, driving buses, it's, it's a big interest of mine. Um, Fleetwood J writes, another great video. Keep up the good work and look forward to next week's. Love Mini writes, what a big part this issue, you handled just fine. Um, World of Mike Anderson writes, hi Penny, haven't yet watched this video, has got a backlog to get through. Just wanted to wish you a very happy birthday. I will be joining the stream around 3 as working till 2.30 tomorrow. I'm thrilled with Thor and cannot wait. I have bought some bubble wrap today and will be posted shortly. Thanks ever so much. And now what the reference that Mike makes there is to my uh, birthday stream. Um, I did a big 24 hour paint marathon on Twitch. Um, I do regular Twitch shows on various subjects uh, including my other part works and Mike was obviously just wishing me a happy birthday. Um, I also did a little fixed job for him, nothing too major, I'm not a, uh, the best painter in the world, um, but it was kind of more of a favour. And the last comment that we've received is from Horlix, um, and he writes, another great video diary here, Penny. Thank you for the shout out and your kind words. Uh, these part work builds, in my opinion, are not all about the final uh, result at the end of 120 issues it's also about the community and friends you discover and make throughout the journey of the build this is very special so cheers to you penny and the fellow part work builders um, i couldn't agree with you uh, anymore because my hobby background tends to come more from the miniature painters and one of the sayings that we we say an awful lot is share the hobby love and and um that's something that I'm trying to bring my own unique brand to within the part work uh, uh, hobby. I find that the people who do these part works are wonderful and we just, we just want to share what we do and we want to enjoy. Remember this is always a hobby, um, it's not something we want to get stressed out about. Um, if we want to get stressed out we'll all go back to work and do some overtime. This is just a way for us to relax. Um, so that's the end of this week's video. I hope you've enjoyed it and uh, I will see you next week uh, I, where we, I believe we're starting the wheel.